Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. It's very important, as I said many times, for I guess we're on, I'm on what, year three with you now? Okay. I'm uh, going to approach our record for the longest assignment here. Uh, and uh, you have to know the, the context of the letter. Um, who's Paul writing to? Corinth might, might have been one of the wealthiest cities in the Roman Empire, or maybe even close to wealthier than Rome. It had ports on both the east and the west side of the city. It was like on a peninsula. So it was a place where a lot of cargo, a lot of merchandise was traded back and forth. With wealth comes the inordinate, the unhealthy desire for the sensual things. Okay, so uh, there is an ancient term, and actually, ironically, St. Augustine uses it. Uh, Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Monica. Tomorrow is the feast day of uh, St. Augustine. Um, If you know St. Augustine's uh, story, you know, he had that very extravagant, sensual lifestyle. Uh, I believe he even had a child out of wedlock. I'm not sure on that one, but, but just uh, a very unhealthy appetite. And when he became a Christian, um, you know, those memories still stayed with him. You know, he, as often times he would, you know, whether in prayer or meditation or whatever, and he said, you know, sometimes I can't get the Corinthian girls out of my head, okay? That's the term that he used. So that was an ancient term. So really, it re- kind of referred to a prostitute, a Corinthian girl. So the, the, the city had many of them, um, many temples and shrines and, and all those types of things. Uh, that would, that's Corinth in a nutshell. So when Paul goes there, he's going to a very wealthy city. And so as we look at the beginning Okay, verses 1 through 9, chapter 1, the opening address, has his customary with St. Paul's letters. Right in the introduction, he gives you the themes that he's going to talk about and that we're going to explore in the rest of the letter. And so let's look at some clues. Okay, let's look at some clues here. To the church of God that is in Corinth, he says, to you, who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. One of the first issues that Paul is going to address is that within the church of Corinth, there is division. There's factions, there's cliques, you know, between who, who follows who, between the rich and the, the poor, It's a parish or a diocese that is divided. I think a lot of places in the United States and parishes can relate to that. You have this group here, you have this group here, you have people who like, you know, this type of liturgy here and like this type of liturgy here. That's kind of the stuff that's going on in Corinth. So unity is going to be one of his big major themes. Okay. And that unity is a sign of holiness and sanctification. If there's division, there is no, there is at least a lack in of holiness. Okay. Because again, everywhere, all, all those everywhere who call upon the name Lord Jesus Christ. The second is this, the second half of this first reading. I give you thanks, my God, always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus that in him you were enriched. Okay, notice that word there, enriched, right into a very wealthy city. Okay, but how are they enriched? With all discourse and knowledge and testimony to Christ that was confirmed among you and that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift. So as St. Paul loves to do, he likes to throw something that they can relate to and kind of throw it back at them. Yeah, you are rich. You are rich because of the revelations of Jesus Christ. You are rich because of all the spiritual gifts that he has given you. 
But that's going to lead to our second point is, is going to be their, their conduct. Many of the people have kind of fallen into the ways of society and have fallen into the ways of the culture around them, whether it's, again, prostitution or adultery or participating in the pagan practices. Again, I think it's something that our parishes, our dioceses, has a lot of times there's a movement to kind of conform ourselves to the society that is around us. The whole, you know, we, we were, we're called to strive to live in the world but not be a part of the world. Well, many in Corinth are not only living in the world, but they're very much a part of it. And so, okay, that's, that's the introduction right there in a nutshell. And I'm going to, as I say, record these homilies and kind of title them according to the theme of my sermon and kind of have a separate section here for 1 Corinthians. So it could be like a line, another little mini Bible study for, for people here. Um, but that's what we're going to be looking at, and that's uh, what we're going to be continuing on here. So the two themes, one of unity and one of... Uh, of holiness, of, of not conforming to the ways of the world. May God bless you.